Hi, I'm Steve Drury on the faculty at New England Conservatory. This is John Cage's Preparing Piano. That's the left-hand part to Sonata Number 5 in this group of pieces that we're doing. They're called the Sonatas and Interludes. There are 16 sonatas and 4 interludes. The whole cycle is an hour. The preparation for the piano is very extensive. About half of the notes on the piano are prepared. It takes three hours at least to fully prepare everything. I am preparing the piano according to Mr. Cage's instructions with objects such as screws, bolts, little strips of rubber, inserted between the strings in order to change the sound of the strings and turn it from a piano, which sounds like this, into a percussion orchestra, which sounds like that. I'm trying to follow his instructions as closely as possible because they're very detailed. And they also, unfortunately, leave out information just when you really need it. With all the notes listed, mm -hmm. objects, sometimes there's more than one, sometimes there's three objects in any given string. And exactly how far away from the damper it is. Uh, they're detailed about the object put in between the strings uh, and where. Uh, but um, they leave out certain details like the size of the object. And there's an extent to which you can say, okay, this fits and that doesn't fit. But two bolts, which would both fit, would be this one and this one. But they sound very different because they're different lengths. I'll put the first one in. It sounds like now if I take that out and put the second one in it sounds like it's a lot deeper a lot lower because it depends on how heavy the bolt is which depends on how long it is placement of the bolt really makes a big difference. Ooh, sweet. Rubber usually is a little more dependable. It's a rubber strip made out of slicing up old canning jar rubber. Um, your grandmother maybe canned vegetables. Uh, and you can still find this in some hardware stores. And it makes for a nice little rubber strip that Instead of a sound note sounding like this, it would sound like this. Creates a little more wooden sound. And you also, depends on where you put it. Plastic is another uh, um, substance that he asks for a lot. One way to use plastic to prepare is off the top of a loaf of bread. You can also use a guitar pick, which is a little less flexible, uh, and the plastic can be threaded over and under the strings. There's a couple things about preparing the piano. Steel is harder than brass. Piano strings are made of steel, so I don't use steel to prepare, I use brass. This won't nick the strings. And the other thing is to use a screwdriver or some such object to take it out in and out very carefully and very slowly because the last thing you want to do to nice strings on a nice Steinway is something like this. That's not good. Don't do that at home or anywhere else.